Hi guys, I'm Rebecca Sangeetha Darai and I'm going to be giving you guys some hot tips on how to make your corner lock shine, literally, because I'm going to be addressing lighting, which was my biggest struggle when filming the corner lock. So for me, um, when I filmed over the two days that I tried to film the monologue, both days, I uh, had heavy rain, heavy thunderstorms. So apart from struggling with light, uh, uh, lightning and thunder, I also struggled with having good lighting in my room. Um, but thankfully, I was able to find some stuff around my house that helped me to reflect some light. So the first stuff I would suggest is to always film in daylight if you can. Because daylight allows more light to be reflected on your surroundings and on your face. It also helps your camera pick up details that would otherwise um, could be lost in the night time. Your video might also look a little bit grainy, which is what I experience sometimes when trying to film auditions at night in my room. So I tend to always wait for the daytime um, to film these things. If you can't or if you don't have a bright uh, backdrop, for me I'm lucky because I, I painted my room last year with a lighter colour. Uh, as, uh, in particular this wall because I wanted to do more filming from home uh, and I wanted a colour that was more friendly uh, as a backdrop but if you can't you can also install some panelling in your house um, and again this is very useful especially if you're working from home you're doing a lot more zoom calls nowadays let me just show you guys what that looks like this is what my panelling looks like I installed this when I moved into my room many years ago but it has been very very trusty so these curtains were only like $11 from Ikea and that rod at the top that you see it is actually a shower curtain rod that I bought for three bucks so trust me I'm very anti one I love like stuff that you can reuse reduce recycle or buy on the cheap so this was only three bucks I bought it from the mama shop opposite my house it is very long tension sprung so the moment you put it really tight it will not fall unless you hang something very heavy off of it. So it's very very useful to give me a, a backdrop when I can't use this wall if it's not suitable then I use that one which is what I use for the corona lock. I had the backdrop and I had the curtains at the side that helped not only reflect light but hide all the other stuff um, that were a bit distracting for the video. Another thing that you can use is something like this. This is a sound deadening mat that I got off of Lazada. On the cheap I bought a three meter roll for just 11 bucks. Um, so if you can't get this, I like this because it's also very good in reflecting light. It acts as a giant reflector in my room. But if you cannot get this, it's fine. Um, just get any aluminum foil lying around in your kitchen. Just make sure to ask your mom permission before you grab it. If not, um, she might yell at you and me. Uh, another thing that I love to reuse is this thing. This thing was actually in the bed sheet that my mother bought. So you know how sometimes when you buy a bed sheet, they have this cardboard that comes along with the cloth to kind of prop it up. My mom bought this bed sheet. That was huge so this one can open up and I can also close it and I love this because it acts as an amazing reflector it's also quite sturdy so look how notice how there is a shadow on this side of my face and then here and it suddenly brings light to my face so I love using stuff like this just around your house if it helps um, to reflect some light if you find that you are in a very dimly lit space um, like me also, once more, try to think of what your character needs at the end of the day. Your character might require you to film at night with a very specific lighting. For instance, Serene Chen's monologue had her sitting in the kitchen. She was incredibly, um, incredibly well lit and she was sitting a bit further away because that's what her character would have done. On the other hand, Will Smith's character was in a very dark place. He had a very specific spotlight on him and it was blue in colour because that's what his character needed. So um, unless um, your character needs you to film at night, try to film in the daytime, but also try to think about where they might be. Do they use a directed light or a sort of um, a more general lighting space? Like are they just sitting in their living room? So these kinds of things will help. Another thing when talking about filming also is to take note of your framing. Make sure that your framing is uh, well done. Make sure you have enough headroom that you don't get cut off. Um, again, think about what your character needs. If your character is the kind that would only speak with a mouth like that, then maybe that's what they should do. If they like to come really close and be creepy, then that's something they would do as well. But regardless of whether they're close or far, near or not, cut off or not, always make sure that sound is heard sound is essential so a lot of iPhones and Androids nowadays can pick up sound really really well but if you find that it's very tough if you have a noisy environment kind of like my family you can hear them right now try to use an isolated sound source so if you don't have a microphone 
you can always make use of a earpiece. If you notice, some of our Corona Lock participants were also using earpieces. And an isolated sound source is always better than a general kind of noisy sound source. So that's it for me. I had a lot of fun doing the Corona Locks. It was crazy. I learned a lot. And I hope you guys do too. So good luck. All the best to your Corona Lock. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys have in store.